What is going on GBA fans? My name is Burke and today we bring you the week 11 Pick'em Crew for the GBA Season 7 and as always I'm joined by my co-host Matty Brolic. What is going on everybody? You got Matty Brolic here and I am back for another week of the Pick'em Crew so I'm excited. Hope you are all excited as well and yeah we'll get right into it. So last week as you can see on the screen lots of green doing pretty good guessing these games but Geo being the upset of the week most of us picking against him but you know him uh doing pretty good winning blue actually getting that lock of the week right and the race for number one is pretty tight you know maddie you're still at the top 57 and 23 but there's two of us that are 56 and 24 and someone 55 and 25 so you know it's really going to depend on these last two weeks who's going to come out on top the first match of the week, we have the Philadelphia Scissors versus the Florida Gators. Most of us having the Philadelphia Scissors picked. Blue locking for the Philadelphia Scissors. And this was definitely not an easy game to call because both coaches have been doing pretty well. But Chimpact has been so consistent this season going 8-2 and two so far. I can definitely see him winning on that alone just with the momentum he's going in with into this battle. Matchup-wise, he doesn't have the most fantastic defensive matchup I don't think you know you look at something like Latios and that's just kind of a huge threat to Chimpak's team obviously offensively Chimpak as we say every week just offensively it's just a crazy scary team matchup but defensively I think he will struggle a little bit but knowing Chimpak knowing how good he's been doing this season I feel like he could pull out a win this week yeah I, I think that Chimpak is, is more likely to win this one he did beat Gator the first time around and he also has a, a pretty good team, I would say superior team to, to Gators overall, even though, like you said, he does struggle with some of Gators' offensive threats, so it'll be interesting to see how he can play around those, but yeah, this one could definitely go either way, but I'm going to have to go with Chimpact. So the next match of the week, we have the Free State Tour Cats versus the St. Louis Rampardos, so why don't you take this one? This one's definitely a really tough one to call. I think Dan could easily take it, but I, I have been pretty impressed with the way Duncan's been preparing and playing. It seems like he's just been getting better and better as the season goes on. He did take a loss last week, but it was a pretty close game. I know he got a little bit lucky, but um, at the end there, he, he almost had Mono going at, at, at the very end. And if he won that, I believe he either made playoffs right there or just stayed in the race, which is pretty impressive considering this is his first time ever playing in a league. So it depends. If he really just tries to lay, you know, chill and have fun against Dan, then he could easily take a loss. But if he really goes hard and tries to get the win then I think he's a little more likely to win yeah I don't think he's quite out of the playoff race it's unlikely because Gator is right above him at six and four and Duncan's at four six so if Gator loses out and Duncan wins out he it's possible that he can make it but again not not extraordinarily likely but still I feel like Duncan can win this match he's been doing I think a little bit better than Dan this season and he's been able to pull back a pretty poor beginning of the season to four and six doesn't seem that great but he started at one and four so he's three and two in his last few weeks so he's doing pretty good recently whereas Dan's been really struggling this season so I feel like Duncan can be able to pull out the win this week up next, we have the Tampa Bay Lux Rays versus the Pittsburgh Piratitas. I don't think there's really much to say about this match. All of us are going for Mono. Lots of locks for Mono. Tup has not been doing well this season. I would not be surprised if his motivation to really try to pull anything out of the season is there. Whereas Mono wants to probably secure himself a good enough seed in the playoffs. So for Tup, this battle doesn't really mean much. but And for Mono, it means a little bit more. Mono's been doing really well this season, Tup hasn't, so I went with Mono. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Mono, uh, he still has reasons to, to play and do well, whereas Tup, it doesn't really matter at this point. You know, he's he may just want to get that one win, which could be really nice, but other than that, it's just like, you know, his confidence has to be kind of low at, at the moment, and he's probably somewhat just ready for the season to be over, so I can't imagine that he would really care too much. And either way, I think that Mono has just proven to be the better coach this season and he definitely in my opinion has a better more solid team all around so i'm gonna have to go with mono here and i i locked him as well so up next we've got the san francisco arcaninas versus the borussia don fan so why don't you take this one so this one is it's always tough to call when you have two really offensive players like george and lars because both of them are not afraid to be aggressive they both have really powerful teams but 
I've just been impressed by George week in and week out more so than Lars. I think George is definitely the more consistent preparer and player. So I think that the odds are with him a little more so than they are with Lars, but I could easily see this one going either way because Lars, when he's on his game, is a very scary opponent and his team is just incredibly scary. So I'm also gonna go with George. I lock for him mostly because I told George I believe in him. And when I tell George I believe in him, he, he wins all his battles. And so this week was no different. So he is gonna win just saying it's gonna happen. This match does, I think, mean a little bit more to Lars than it does to George. George has playoffs on lock, whereas if Lars can win this battle, he is better securing himself a possible place in the playoffs. He's still he's still fighting for that spot. And I think Lars is going to put a, a lot into planning for this match and trying to topple George, but I'm really confident in George that he can win this battle, and I'm going to lock for George. So up next, we got the San Jose Sharpedos versus the Utah Jasmine. We are very split in this match. Uh, I'm going to go with the San Jose Sharpedos. This is an extraordinarily important match for both. There is a huge playoff race in the Melee Melee division. Uh, there are only two losses and wins apart from top to bottom. And Tom needs this win. If Tom loses here, he's out of the playoffs. And if Necro loses here he ha is going to really struggle for a playoff spot because, again, each win and loss these last two weeks are very important for each team in this division. So this is this this is a very important battle. I am going to go with Tom because I want to believe in Tom. I want to believe that he can make playoffs and, and clutch out these last two weeks, but it is definitely going to be difficult. Tom did win the first time around. Granted, that was against Cooper, not Necro. So it is, it's not quite a rematch, but it is kind of a rematch. If, if we look at the team matchups, I, I still kind of like Tom's team matchup, especially with Darmanitan. Darmanitan just being a gigantic threat for Necro's team, even with the Manaphy, it's a Darmanitan. And then you also got Thunder Asterion, which for a lot of teams it is extraordinarily hard to deal with. But I think Necro's team, it has a little bit to deal with it, like the Lantern, but if... Uh, Tom is able to deal with the Lantern effectively, then Thunderous T is also looking like a giant threat. So I can see this match going either way, but I am going to go with Tom and the San Jose Sharpedos just kind of hoping he wins. Yeah, this was difficult to call. Tom's team matchup does look pretty nice. I do like his team, but I do think that Necro is more likely to win this game. Necro is just a, a very solid player, very solid with his preparation. And like I say every week, he's got something to prove. You know, he's he's the newest guy to the GBA because he came in midseason. He really needs to step up his game if he wants to make a legitimate run for it. So it can easily go either way. But I do think Necro's team is pretty solid. And I think he's a good enough coach and player to be able to get this win. So up next, we got the Detroit Steelings versus the San Francisco Giantes. Why don't you take this match? This was another really tough one to call because Gio has picked up his game big time for the last, I don't know how many weeks, maybe four or five weeks or so. And I've been picking against them and constantly getting it wrong, but I it's just tough to choose because Crimson has been playing so well this season also. I, I've been impressed with Crimson more so than I have with Gio because he just seems to be like kind of hit or miss. It seems like he'll go on a, a good run and then a bad run. Maybe I should try to capitalize on the fact that it's a good run that he's on right now, but... Either way, I just decided to go with the Detroit Steel Wings here. Hopefully Crimson could clutch this one out, but it could easily go either way. Yeah, this is another extraordinarily important match. Again, another divisional match in the Melee Melee division. Each win is absolutely necessary for this team. If Gio wins this match, though, he does clinch the playoffs. So he is 100% going to be gunning for this match because if he can clinch playoffs, he will finally get into the playoffs after this is his fourth season. And he won't narrowly miss out just like he has in the last two seasons. So I feel like just based on that alone, I, I feel like Gio's going to be able to win. He's been doing really well recently. I think he I think he was another team that was like 1-3, and, and now he's 6-4. and four, So he's been winning most of his games recently. He's doing a little bit better than Crimson so far this season, being 6-4 and four rather than 5-5. Five and five. So I am going to go with Gio. Uh, it can go either way. Crimson also has been playing very well this season, but I see Gio winning this one. So up next, we have the New Orleans Pelopers versus the San Diego Chim Chargers. Most of us picking MB and the San Diego Chim Chargers. A few pick people picking the New Orleans Pelopers. I'm kind of, I kind of regret this pick because I, I picked it, and now you know, like thinking about it, MV's not very good with rematches, 
especially against teams that have been doing well. So I can see John winning this one, but just going on how well each team has been doing, Envy is currently number one in the league at nine and one. It's extraordinarily hard to pick against him. He's been doing absolutely fantastic. So I decided to go with Envy. Obviously the team matchup, I don't think is really in his favor. I, I feel like he deals not that well with things like Tapabulu and Infernape just being gigantic threats to any team. If he can mitigate the damage Tapabulu does to his team, I feel like he can win this game, but it is definitely going to be difficult. But I am going to go with Envy in the San Diego Chim Chargers. I definitely agree with you in saying that Envy's just really tough to pick against in this situation. John has been playing really well, and his team does look like it has a pretty solid matchup against Envy's, but... It's just really difficult to pick against Envy at this point in the season. Being the number one coach and just being so good week in and week out lately, that type of consistency is hard to go against. I could definitely see John coming out with the win here, but it's just hard to go against Envy, so that's why I'm going to go with him as well. In the last match of the week, we have the Milwaukee Saws Bucks versus the Alola Athletics, so I'll let you take this one. This one's kind of up in the air. I'm sure Steve would like to get another big win, but... Just with the way things have been going down, I would say the Alola Athletic have definitely impressed me more than the Saws Bucks. So, you know, Callum, he's he's in the GBA now. I'm sure he's going to want to stick around. So maybe he's got a little bit more to play for than Steve at this point. Because Steve's been here for so long. He's, you know, consistently had a, a losing record for the most part. And this season is definitely not any different. He's just really been struggling to pick it up. So it would be nice to see Steve get another upset win. But I think that um, it's pretty safe to say that. Callum has been doing better this season. So because of that and the fact that I like his team much better than I like Steve's, I'm going to go with Callum and his Alola Athletic. Uh, this is also another important battle for the playoffs, not for Steve, but for Callum. Callum needs to win this battle to stay in playoff contention. If he loses, this, he's completely out. But if he wins, he's still in it. Uh, so he is definitely going to want to win this battle. Um, plus, Steve has not been doing well, that well this season. His team is not working out the way I think he wanted to work out. And Callum, I feel like, has just been doing pretty decently. I like his team matchup pretty well this week against Steve. I like most teams' matchup against Steve's. So I'm going to go with Callum and the Alola Athletic. And that is going to wrap up the Week 11 pick and Crew for the GBA Season 7. As always, leave your picks down in the comments section below. Let us know who you're picking for and why you're picking for them. Maddie, anything left to say? Nope, just going to echo you once again and say keep making your picks definitely makes it more fun for everybody and yeah i need to step up my game because i'm losing my lead big time we got burke right here about to catch up to me and then even baby nick my old co-host is right on my tail so hopefully we could uh get some victories or get some consistent victories in the last couple weeks of the season because i may very well lose my my lead spot so wish me luck everybody no you're gonna be dethroned that's what's gonna happen you're gonna be dethroned <laughs> oh man, I hate Atros. Bye. <laughs>